Wait, so what are we talking AI memes for? Memes? For your business? Yeah, we are. All right. Let's talk about this. My name is Jordan Wilson, and this is our AI in five segment. So every day AI is a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter. And we also do this thing called AI in five every day, where we help everyday people learn and leverage AI. So let's talk about memes in AI. Yeah, exactly. Making a meme with AI. But probably you're asking why. Well, memes sell. Memes are relatable, right? And if you want to um, you know, create a stronger connection, especially with a younger demographic, memes could and maybe should be a part of your marketing strategy and your advertising strategy, right? Uh, so there's actually pretty good reasons to test it out. So whether you're um, in uh, you know, marketing, advertising, communication, if you're putting together an email newsletter for your company, uh, you, you know, so many companies, you know, even on social media are creating memes. So why not create memes that are highly relevant uh, to, to your audience? So let's, uh, let's give it a try. So there's a new tool here called memecreator.xyz, right? Uh, doesn't, doesn't roll off the tongue, uh, but takes about 30 seconds to sign up. You can sign in with your Google account. Um, it's free as far as I can tell. I haven't seen any. Uh, I haven't seen any pricing plans yet, uh, and and they also, uh, which I think is is pretty cool, have a uh, Chat GPT uh, plugin as well. So we will uh, we'll give that he, uh, a try here in a second as well. All right, so let's take a look at how this works, and then we can also take a look at the Chat GPT plugin. So it's like I said, it's pretty simple. You log uh, you log in with your uh, Google uh, account, and you just build memes. It's simple. So let's take a look at the interface here. It's pretty uh, pretty easy. So there's also uh, examples that you can click, but I'm just going to go ahead and say, click a meme, or, or sorry, make a meme that talks about how StreamYard is the best live stream tool. So kind of specific. So let's say if you work for a company, uh, let's see how this does. I'm actually recording this video with StreamYard, which is where I got the idea. So simple, you type it in, you click it, you wait a couple of seconds, and it's going to create a meme. This might be too specific, but I always like trying these tools out live um, because, you know, you can always polish and go through something and, uh, you know, make it look better than it is. But I like to give people the real, right? So here we go. Uh, here's the meme. Let's try another live stream tool. No, StreamYard is the best option. Okay, cool. So that's probably a pretty, pretty famous kind of a Kermit meme if you haven't seen it before. All right, I'm going to try another one. I'm going to say make a meme about people who waste their time by not using AI. So let's do that. So like, like you saw there, it's very easy to type it in. It's a simple interface. You can also click the uh, kind of the remix or retry button right there if you don't like the generation. Um, so let's kind of take a second look and then we'll jump into uh, ChatGPT and we'll try to use the service there. All right, here we go. So this is funny, right? This might be something that we would even use in our daily newsletter. So it's an easy way to make quick memes. All right, so let's uh, let's jump into uh, into ChatGPT. So I have the plugin installed, and you'll see here I have other plugins installed as well. Uh, we always recommend doing what's called plugin packs, which is using multiple plugins at once. If you are uh, working in, um, you know, if you want ChatGPT to have access to the internet, so I'm going to try something simple at first inside ChatGPT and essentially calling on this plugin, hopefully, um, to work this way. So let's see if it works. So I just said, make a meme about how AI will rule us all. So let's see. There we go, pretty simple. Got a meme. All right, so you're, okay, you're saying, why do this in ChatGPT or why use this at all? Well, let's let's give a real example, maybe. All right, so this was an episode that we just did yesterday, um, which was a great episode with Mark DeGrasse. He is the president of um, digitalmarketer.com, so one of the premier marketing minds out there. So let's say I wanted to make a meme 
about this episode for whatever reason. So let's try it in chat GPT. And we do have those multiple plugins enabled. So I'm going to say, make a funny meme about AI and marketing based on this article, right? There's a pretty, pretty good use case. So maybe you're, uh, your business writing a blog post and, and you're having a little trouble, uh, coming up with an idea. And so, okay. Instead, what if you just put in a URL, um, and use multiple plugins in chat GPT, will it come up with something good for you? Uh, let's find out. So we can click here. It's using this browser op. Um, and it's, you can see it read the web page. So that's great. That's one of the plugins I always recommend. Browser op is one of the best. Um, so let's see, it's uh, giving us some takeaways, which is good. Uh, so we'll see if it gives us a, a relevant meme that is based on these takeaways. Uh, something real quick, just as we uh, as we wait for this to render, and let me let me make sure I'm actually sharing the right tab here. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Uh, so just just as a quick recap here, uh, here's the uh, the prompt that we put in: make a funny meme about AI and marketing based on this article. It used browser op right here. Uh, it's reading the page correctly. It's then summarizing it, which we didn't necessarily need, but that's fine. Um, and let's see if our if our meme is uh, is ready. <laughs> Here we go. Cool. I like it. That was good. So let's let's try this. Let's say now make two more memes that can be used in a blog post for that web page I shared. So let's see how good it is building off of uh, multiple and creating multiple memes uh, that in theory could go with that blog post that we just shared. So this is, a, again, you could put in uh, you know, your, your blog posts and email newsletter if you're just having trouble or if you just want to create some, uh, some content that'll maybe resonate a little bit more um, with, with your audience. I think this is a great way to do it and especially combining it uh, with chat GPT, with other plugins, I think can save you a little bit of time. So, you know, if you're a content marketer, uh, social media, uh, especially, I think this can help you uh, relate to the younger demographics. Um, hopefully I don't sound like an old person saying that, you know, relate to the younger demographics. Uh, but let's see, let's see how this did as we wrap up uh, today's AI in five. Let's see how it did. So there's our first one. There we go. I like that. So we have this uh, this one with Drake here. It says traditional, traditional marketing and kind of uh, oh a little too zoomed in now, aren't I? There we go. Um, so I said make make two more memes. So there we have one. This uh, kind of Drake one about uh, traditional marketing and AI personalization. Um, <laughs> there we go. Cool. It was easy, right? That was easy. All right. So this was a fun AI in five. Uh, we do this every weekday, Monday through Friday. So if this was helpful. We wanted a, a lighthearted one today. So make sure to go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Like I said, we have the daily live stream where we bring experts like Mark DeGrasse in and you can ask them questions, uh, you know, our podcast. And then also the newsletter where we share the AI in five like this. So hope to see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.